down Just grab the girls and come around Hey, glamour puss, hey, smarty Come to my pajama party When the neighborhood gets off the bed Get off your sleepy head instead Forget those melodramas But don't forget to bring pajamas There's all kind of things like how to lose Those boyfriend blues with chocolate cake and karate At my pajama party to my pajama party. <laughs> You stop in for a change at my pajama party. I'm Katie Puckrick, and I've got bachelorettes busting out all over the place tonight, including my favorite gal pals, Claudia Winkleman and Miss Michelle Kelly. We've got the sound superb singer tonight. We have that frisky wild child turned top model, Tizer Bailey. But first, crack a window. Am I ever excited because we have the coolest brothers in pop, Sparks! Yay! too cold out there in the backyard. No, it was a bit nippy, but... It, you managed. We the, managed. Because the thing is, Grandma doesn't really like men folk at a pajama party. I know, we heard. I think Gram we snuck in. Grandma probably would like somebody of my age, though. No, no, you're just a young whippersnapper because she's as old as the hills. Now, Ron, I have to say, I'm sorry, but this is not slumber gear. It's my slumber gear. It's what I wear to bed every night. Really? Including this stuff? Mm? Yeah. On your feet? Yeah. Is it tattooed on your body? This? This? Everything? Yes. Epoxy, yes. And, and, See, but this, this is the key. What this, is this, it? This guarantees me pleasant dreams. What is it? It's a naked lady. <laughs> you're a freak. Ron, you're just a freak, OK? But you've got kind of a, a Hugh Hefner playboy. A kind of a Hugh Hefner vibe, yeah. I heard we were coming, coming over from nice socks. Thank you, yes. Actually, these are studio socks. These are prop socks. These aren't. They aren't They're my prop own. Socks. Okay. Yeah. Do you, but you're from LA. Do you actually know Hugh? I mean, I imagine you go to. Oh, Hugh and I are just like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Whenever we're in Brentwood, we kind of hang out the same place, you know. Well, we've got tons and tons of uh, Playboy bunny types here tonight. But do you ever get a little bit shy when you're confronted with 50 or 70 new people that you've never met before in your entire life? I'm a bit shy right now. And they're all female, too. They are all female. Well, this could be your lucky day, but I think what we need to do is to cut to the chase and find out what stuff these gals are made of. And we're going to do that with the Pajama Party Poll. So if we can go over here, and you can take a seat here. OK, so while Ron and Russell get settled down, she's, you've already been. You've already God, been attacked. I know. <laughs> this this is, is getting fun. I like pajama parties. <laughs> this is good. Well, you can move in the Bachelor pad if you ever if you ever hard up. Yeah. If Hugh Hefner doesn't want to know. If our next song stiffs, I'm your co-host. <laughs> Babe, you're in. Okay. So what we want to know is how far would you go on a first date? Are you a virgin, vixen, okay. or vamp? <laughs> already we've got a vamp already. Okay. Five questions: an A, B, or C option for each. Russell, Ron, just keep your eyes and ears open. They are. Okay. Is Question. that all? <laughs> and your fly, all right? Okay, how far would you go on a first date? Uh, number one, the best way to say goodnight on a first date is to... Uh, that's not one of my favorite positions, I have to say. <laughs> um, now, we're here with a couple of foxes. They're not vixens, they're foxes. Now, do you oh. like... That's you too, oh, Dolphins. Just I'm settle, in the, settle down. In the general fox category? Yes, you are. Oh, must, be, must be very general tonight. It's not, it's not. We're very specific. Now, do you like ladies who are very intense and aggressive, or do you like the demure Bible reading types? By and large. Intense and aggressive. Right. Have you had experiences with like stalker type intensity? Yeah, as a matter of fact, we had um, two girls who were hanging out in front of my house for months and months on end, and one got so um, just so passionate about the whole thing and tried to figure out a way to get closer to me that she actually befriended my next door neighbor, who was a bachelor moved in with the guy so that she could actually be living next door to me. And one morning I go out to get my newspaper, bend over, and who should be out there but uh, asking the, uh, the, her, uh, her now, her new boyfriend next door saying, uh, one pancake or two, Michael, how many did you want? How scary. So she was there going, honey, 
I'll make you some pancakes and maybe Russell will want some too. Exactly. So did you move after that? I didn't move, no, but I think she got arrested or something she, <laughs> shortly thereafter. Well, that's the kind of attention you guys yeah. drum up, whether I don't, you like it I don't or not. I don't attract psychos myself. No, because you are one. <laughs> oh, sorry, I didn't mean that. I take it back. So when you're not crashing pajama parties like this, you're making music, you're making pop videos, you've got a new single out, do you not? Yeah, it's called Now That I Own the BBC. Well. And it's out. It's out? <laughs> and let's look at the video of it. Now that I own the BBC, what am I supposed to make of this thing? It did turn out. To, to have to look at a pair of hindquarters in that really vulnerable, revealing way. Do you? I mean, you don't really, you don't really see it like that. And I mean, do you, how are you about... about I, I, was surprised, I was surprised that they didn't choose me. I was number B. What? 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 Say that again? I was number B. Yeah, he's B. What's the matter with your voice? Is that you? Is that definitely you? Yeah, you yeah know, it's just wrong. Here. You know the hindquarters of your brother better than anybody. <laughs> Well, that's very instructive. Very, very instructive. Now let's go to let's go to three pair of hindquarters who really know how to swing their way through a swingle number song. It's the Sound Superb Singers.